this is Tyler from Craft and Tailored, and in this episode of Under the Radar, I am going over a 1940s Dirty Dozen World War II Vertex Cal 59. For those of you who don't know what the Dirty Dozen are, they are a collection of 12 different watches from 12 different brands commissioned by the Ministry of Defense, the MOD, for the rigors of war to issue to their army, their air force, and also their navy. The specifications of these watches are kind of like what you'd expect. They need to be waterproof, they have to have luminous dials, they have to have chronometer level of timekeeping, as well as, you know, they have to be rugged, they have to be able to survive war. With that, I kind of want to go over the Vertex a little bit and then kind of over the Dirty Dozen um, as a whole. So the brands involved in this collection of watches, Buren, Eterna, IWC, Grana, Jaeger Lecolte, La Magna, Longines, Omega, Record, SEMA, Timor, Vertex. Some of those watch brands are definitely more well known King in terms of like Omega, Longines, JLC, Eterna. However, there is a lot of smaller watch brands that also participated in this contract and the Vertex is definitely one of those. What I think is so cool about the Dirty Dozen is uh, each one kind of has its own flavor, its own sort of take on what the MOD's specifications were for these watches. So they're all a little bit different. If they're all lined up in a row, you'd probably be like, that's 12 of the same watch. So when it comes to these watches, it really takes the type of collector who likes to take the time to sort of dive into each one. I like this one specifically because of its dial presence. It has a little bit longer lugs than you'd expect from some of the other ones and it just has taken on this really cool patina throughout. It's like a brass plated steel, so you can kind of see some of that like gold yellowing sort of coming through the steel plating, and it just makes for a very gorgeous appearance on wrist and when inspecting it in your hand. This one has a very clean dial. It has all of its original luminous material, which is pretty hard to find because they're issued watches. So, you know, they would be issued the watch from the military store. They would get brought back the watch. They all had military markings and serial numbers. So the MOD would collect these watches um, after they're done being issued and they held on to them for a little while and some of them got reissued post World War II and they had different dials or you know that there was just different specifications that they had to meet. So why I like this one specifically is because it retains a lot of those original aspects and specifications, which kind of gives you just a good original feeling when you have this watch on. I love the bold Arabic numerals. It's very pilot watch feeling. What's interesting is these watches have fixed lugs, but they were originally issued on canvas straps or pigskin straps. But most of those have worn away since, you know, 1940s. So you primarily see them all on NATO straps and it gives you a really specific sense of feeling when you have to wear a watch on a specific strap. Obviously, you don't feel like you're in the trenches about to shoot some Nazis while having this watch on, but it kind of just gives you that more utilitarian feel. And it's a really cool watch to wear if you know, you're doing outdoor activities because it survived the rigors of war back in 1940s. So it should be able to keep up with anything going on today. Not that you should scuba dive or submerge this watch at all, but with that being said, I wouldn't say that the Dirty Dozen are the most under the radar watches, just being that they have been so well documented and so well researched and remain very collectible to this day, even though they are at that lower price point. But I did want to go over this Vertex because it is one of the lesser known brands. So it isn't at that same level of collectability, I would say, as maybe like the IWCs or the Omegas being the more name brand options. But it still has a lot of character to itself and it is at a lower price point because it doesn't have that sort of mainstream name brand associated to it. I still feel like for a World War II watch that has survived so well, there is a lot of value here. You know, I, I'm not saying that these are gonna go up in value like crazy in the next five years, but it's definitely something to look out for. They're really cool watches. They're really 
enjoyable to wear and they have a great look to them and they have that issued military provenance with them as well. This Vertex specifically is for sale. You can check it out on our website at craftandtailor.com. We will provide a link in the description below. And with that, I wanna say thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, follow us on Instagram at craftandtailored. And if you have watch questions, we are here to help. You can drop us a line at info at craftandtailor.com and we will see you in the next one.